More springtime family fun at Audubon State Park. Lisa Hoffman is the park program services supervisor. She has a few. <laughs> I always have a few, it you seems like. You always have a few. Well, you know, everybody is so ready, Lisa, to get out yeah, there. The and first see. little bit of good spring weather, the park was just full of people. So good. It's that's great. good. We want to yes. hear that. So, what, we, what do we have lined up? Um, well, actually, this Friday is our last walk on the wild side for a little while uh, at 10 o'clock for ages three to six. Um, since it's almost officially spring, we're going to talk about um, our forest waking up from its long sleep. So we'll have a story and a craft and a little nature walk, maybe a little special animal visitor come in. Oh, well, fun. Yeah, so um, that's $5. If you'll pre-register with me, that will help me get ready for the program. Uh, and then also this weekend, uh, March 19th, um, we've got another survival workshop. Uh, you know, we always want to explore nature and encourage our children to go out and seek fun and adventure. Of course, of course. You know, that's part of development. But it also means that they're wandering too far, perhaps, putting themselves at risk of getting lost. And so uh, Audubon Park has always had survival workshops for kids to kind of help with that problem. Well, then what are some of the things they learn in that workshop? Um, hike preparedness. You know, what do you take with you? What could go in a survival kit? Uh, can you make yourself a shelter if you need it? Um, the older children would learn a little bit about starting a fire, how it, those things are important, ways that you can tell rescue where you are. Um, so we've actually got uh, six to nine-year-olds uh, on March 19th. That cost is $12. It's from noon to 2.30. And then on the 26th of March is our second session for kids 10 to 16. Uh, and that is fifteen dollars. Uh, it'll go from noon to three. So I mean, and really important information for all of us. Yeah, you know, it is. Regardless it is. It's, it's, you are. it's a topic that everyone's very interested in. Um, but you know, this is geared for kids so that they can learn some of the basics of how to take care of themselves if they are lost. Do they fill up pretty quick those classes? Yeah, actually, I've got a few openings left, but okay. there's quite a few signed up already. So let me know as soon as possible if you're going to do that. And then April 9th, we're looking ahead just a little bit. I'm actually calling this one Ganza Weekend because it just so <laughs> happens that we've got two events on the same day. Um, if you've got children age three to six, you might want to join Miss Kim for Egg Stravaganza. The Egg Stravaganza is back, yay! Yeah, that's at 10.30. It's part of our Little Rembrandt's art program. So there will be um, kind of an Easter-related artwork project they'll do. And I heard something about bunny rabbits, but I think that's kind of a secret. So oh, we're going to, okay. you know, stay quiet on that. We won't but, tell anybody, Lisa. Yeah, it's, it's a really fun event. Uh, it's $7, and you need to pre-register with Miss Kim. And also that same day, uh, starting at 9 o'clock, I'm going to kick off the annual wildflower extravaganza. <laughs> <laughs> it is a Ganza weekend. It is a Ganza weekend. Um, it's a long tradition that we have hikes and things uh, whenever our spring ephemerals are coming out mm -hmm. of the ground. So it's wildflower time, and um, we've, we'll have a wildflower walk at 9 and 11. And then I've got a presentation so you can learn some more details about the flowers at 10 o'clock. And then there's a longer hike at 1, which has a scavenger hunt included with it. So All ages? Anybody is okay. welcome to come, yes. And those are free. Love that. And go to the website to see all of their calendar. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks for having me. It's a Ganza month. Don't miss it.